Hey, I'm Tom. And I'm Terry. Welcome to episode 122 of Bird Squawk. We are less than a week from Eagles Ooh, training camp baby. starting J July 26th. So by the time we get back to you next week, the birds will be in camp. In camp, and it'll be getting going. And then we got news. Then we got stuff Ooh, to talk we about. Got stuff to talk about. 54 days till kickoff. 54. I know. 54. Can That's you believe Jeremiah, that? the Axe Man Trotter. Can you believe that? That is so exciting. Before we get into not, not a whole lot of news, kind of rumors and stuff today. But before we get into it, we finally got these bad boys back in Ooh. back in shop. There yeah. we go. The Wentz jersey's gone. Yeah. AJ Brown got my yeah. green one. He's got a black one. We're ready to go now, baby. Ready Wentz, to go. Went. AJ Brown arrived. Beautifully Can't done. Wait to see that dude in midnight green. Without Woo. a doubt. So really, what the big like the big rumor? I don't know if it's a huge rumor, but the the news going around right now is the Eagles looking into potentially making a move. For so and so safety from Cincinnati, Jesse Bates. Man, I would love it. Only thing that scares me is they'd left to lock him up for one year, right? They yes. can't, and, and you know they've got to make some room to to pay him. Yeah, he's not gonna play for the tag. So no. I mean, we're already seeing that with Cincinnati. Um, but if there's anybody that can pull this off, it's Howie. Without a doubt. And the only reason I'm really bringing it up is, well, they've been linked to him here and there. But CBS Sports came out with the thing today, and the Birds were the number one potential team that they thought that they should that should go out and get him. And obviously, there's no reason why they shouldn't. If they can get it done, 100% do it. Right now, the safety, I would say, is the weakest position on this team. And we've said that since the draft, kind of since free agency ended. And if you go out and get him, then oh, you really, you just, that's you just a cherry on top. upgraded that defense completely. The, you know what I mean? Everyone wants to spec speculate because they released Craig James, the legend from the Green Bay Packers game, that there's a spot open now. That there's a spot open for potentially making a move or they have someone in mind. We'll obviously have to see. I mean, I don't expect anything to move quickly, but it's obvious that he, yeah, is not going to hang around in Cincy. He doesn't seem like he's going to show up to camp next week, and it's the classic. They don't want to play for the tag, you know what I mean? I mean, wow, what a what a move if we could pull that off. With everything else we've accomplished in this offseason, if we could just pull that one off, like you said, cherry on top. But the other thing would be, Bringing that dude in with some experience. I mean, he just got to the freaking big game last year. I mean, how huge would and that he's be young, in the man. locker room? He's young. He's yeah. really not that. He's kind of like an A.J. Brown type of guy that, like, he's been in the league. But it, when you look at age, it's really not that, like, old in the league. So, like, I guess, I mean, I, I'm I'm excited. I'm stoked. I, I'm not going to be seriously disappointed if it no, doesn't happen. No, without a doubt. But, like, we talked about, you know, we talked about, I'm excited to see what Gannon can do with these guys now. For you sure, I mean? without a doubt. I, I'm still a believer that Gannon had a bad rap last year and had to work with what he had. Mm -hmm. Now they went out and got this dude some playmakers, and let's see what happens. No, I agree with 100% with the whole... I think Gannon got a lot of slack last year. Do I think I did, he did a great job? No, but I agree. I just I don't think he had the pieces that really fit his scheme or just people that can actually play defensive football i mean if that defensive line is half as good as we think they're going to be with the rotation of all these guys i mean that's going to be a big plus for this defense for the secondary i mean 100 you know? that's the big thing that happened in the year they won the super bowl well, the corners man, that we, year we rolled people the corners you know that I mean? year weren't that great i mean jalen mills played well ronald darby played well but at the end of the day if you guys are if your guys are getting home yeah the corners look yeah. a hell of a lot better yeah. than they are any quarterback is great when they got time back there but when you crunch that time and only give them a couple seconds and you got three or four dudes on breathing on their neck i mean they're throwing the ball to to us yeah well you know? and that was something that was 100 percent lacking last year yeah, from i'd this love defense. to see more takeaways i year. mean takeaways for sure and just pressure from that d-line it just seemed a like a bit more swag you yeah. know i i think we brought some dudes in with swag it's all going to be about how how they acclimate themselves to this pro game 
you know, and if they can bring that swag to the pro game, to the locker room, and and that's what I feel like we were missing, like some dogs, man. And we finally went out and got some dogs. Yeah, I mean, with, speaking of the defense, uh, the line, I mean, you can just look at the defense. As much as the offense upgraded with A.J. Brown, it was the defense that got the big overhaul this off uh, this off season. That is, I like I said a couple episodes ago, I'm more excited, I think, about oh, what yeah. this defense can yeah, be totally. than what the offense is. Because I think the offense has their expectations, and people kind of expect them to be what they are. Obviously, they have to prove that. But with the addition to A.J. Brown and who you have, I mean, Dallas Goddard, as much as we might not think he's that, he's like the, well, not that really Madden ratings matter, but he's like the fourth highest rated tight end. He's a solid player. Everyone was skeptical about him last year when they traded Ertz, but he really stepped up, and I think he's going to work out. Uh, you have him back. You got Devontae still. You got a healthy old line, you're going to roll. Yeah. I mean, nothing better than when that defense is, is top-notch, man, and they can just pin their ears back and come after that quarterback. And, I mean, you know, Philly, we love the defense. I was about to say. I was about to I mean, say. I mean, we're every, all about that. everyone loves the fireworks in this day and age of football, the big plays, the big touchdowns, deep passes. But, yeah, when the defense is rolling, gangrene, Ooh, and people baby. love the defense yes. in Philly. And when yes. they're sacking people, interceptions, I mean, third down at the link, yeah. the, the noise, oh just God. the feeding off they the crowd. that stop, you know. Exactly. We all we got, we all we need, you know. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm I'm excited, man, and every day, you know, getting closer, just getting closer. I mean, next week, like you said, I, they're actually going to be in camp. Going to be absolutely you know? crazy. We'll have more, like, actual information on how stuff's going. I mean, the open practice is August 7th, which is, like, two weeks away, and then I don't even know when the preseason schedule starts, but that's got to yeah. be less than a month away. Yeah, I mean, and then, jeez. And the thing, yeah, I mean, there's only two preseason games, yeah. you know. So, I think. Is it, I, mean, I think it's three. Three. Um, Sorry. There's not that it really three. matters, but it's still but, something to watch. I mean, really, I'm, I'm just itching for some real football. I can't wait. Can't wait to get back down to the link. I mean, I know my seats, our seats have been missing us. Can't wait for that whole atmosphere down there. It's going to be electric as usual. Just, you know, keeping up with people on the off season, you know, nothing, nothing like seeing them down there at the link on yeah. Sunday. Um, and just the excitement. I, I don't think we expected to be this excited. No, without a doubt. I mean, you know, at the end of last season, no one expected this overhaul, this off season. I, we expected some overhaul the last couple off seasons. It's been like, this is a big off season. Things are going to change. Yeah. People are going to leave. And this team is going to make the switch that they eventually had to do. And we just thought it was going to be a couple uh, couple off seasons prior to this. Right. But they did it this off season, And when you went from, okay, maybe like one or two more years of rebuilding to, well, they're kind we're, of putting their on the name in the hat. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're throwing our name in the ring at least. And it's like, you know, I still feel like... You know, that NFC East is always up for grabs. Yeah, I mean, there hasn't been, it's the classic, there hasn't been a repeat winner since us in 04 and, yeah. I mean, 03 and 04. So, I mean, it's it's bound to happen that someone else is going to win it this year. And I think our name is going to be there. Why not us, right? Why exactly. Not? I mean, I think Dallas is going to be good again. And we're, obviously, everyone's going to be talking about this. And it has been about, I have the Eagles made that jump and are they on the same level even potentially better and I think you can arguably make a case that they are. And we'll obviously have to see just how they put it together on the field. And hopefully they, for the most part, have the same uh, injury luck as last year. Nothing major right, at the right. end. Oh. That, that was key. You know, we've talked about this numerous times. You don't win anything in, in no. you know, June, July, and August. But we'll be able to see next week that intensity and that, you know, we'll get accurate reports from camp, yeah, the big right? drama. Yes. You know, what's what? You know, we talked last week, you know, hey, Gunner, we, a lot of respect for Gunner. I mean, wherever there's smoke, there's usually fire. I mean, he came out, defended himself, said he wasn't going to walk back on his story, but it is what it is. You know, we talked about this numerous times yeah. over the off season. It is the year of Jalen, you know? Yeah. And we want that kid to succeed, and hopefully he's going to. Yeah, I mean, I think he... Like we said all the time, he's done the right stuff. He's 
put he's put in the work it seems he's doing all the right things and yeah i i think he has set himself up to have that breakout season but will he and that's I obviously mean, the big question you know the three key the three key figures for me this this season are saucy yep. gannon yep and Jalen. yeah I mean that's I mean, that's what it is. It comes that it's gonna come down to those three guys. If Gannon can get this defense back to where it should be, and if Saucy and uh, Jalen can work together to make this offense be electric like it should be, like it should yeah, have been last I really, year. I I feel like you know now with AJ, there's stuff that that Saucy left on the table last year. Without a doubt, we talked about that. Yeah, that, that that they're gonna unleash this year. Yeah, you know. I, I think for sure. I think there's there's a it, he opens the playbook for sure. And now oh, with Devontae yeah. as yeah wide receiver too. I mean, it's I mean, like, we talked about that. You're gonna have AJ being double teamed, and Devontae's gonna be on like the second yeah safety. Yeah, you know, I, the dude is has got to eat this year. You know, I I have no reason to think he won't i mean like we i always say and i won't go deep into this but the numbers he put up last year record-breaking uh rookie season for a wide receiver in eagles history even with the um extra game it should have been even better yeah and he knows it yes. and it, yes. he should have had more opportunities it just didn't come but yeah i mean we'll see and like i said next week we'll be talking legit news not talking about rumors talking about different things but we'll talk about what's happening in this first couple of days of camp as we get closer so well I, I think the thing with Devontae last year is right like there was no weapon on the other side oh yeah so for sure so you were really sacrificing half of the field all the time because there was nobody on the other side of the ball other side of the field that that was even comparable or any defense was worried about yeah so for sure you know, I mean, exactly. So we'll talk. We'll have it all. We'll talk next week. We're, we're, we're stoked. So thank you guys always for watching. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at birds underscore squawk. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Fly, goes fly. Go birds.